Hey everyone, so Trump's presidency is anything but a one-dimensional administration. Despite not loving everything Trump has done, which I'll mention a few of them later, right now I want to point out a very good thing he has done. If you remember, Trump promised a two-for-one deal on all regulations, meaning for every one regulation passed, two must be cut. Not a bad idea in my book. Well, Trump, to his credit, has actually outpaced this promise. From the fall of 2017 through the spring of 2018, Trump is cutting five regulations to every one new regulation. Although most of them are not considered to be, quote, economically significant, but getting rid of them is still praiseworthy considering that the regulatory burden as a whole is more like a death by a thousand cuts rather than death by one big puncture wound. So despite many of these regulations cut by Trump being rather inconsequential on their own, taking them down as a whole can be highly beneficial and help save very large amounts of money, time, energy, and resources, frankly wasted by American individuals and businesses. So if you're watching this, you may not need a reason why this is so beneficial, but let me give you a few anyway. Take the year 2005 for example. Our entire GDP was $12,293,000,000,000 for that year. The regulatory cost during that year was $1,127,000,000,000. That is roughly 9.1% of our GDP, almost 10%. A startling way to think about that is if the entirety of the United States economy domestically were to be solely focused on complying with federal regulations from January 1st of that year to February 2nd. That is a bit more than an entire month of productivity being evaporated to simply comply with federal rules. One other startling thing to think about is how this compares to the revenue the federal government receives from income taxes. The total revenue they receive, and this varies year to year of course, but as of recently, it's around $1.8 trillion a year. In 2016, the amount spent on complying with federal regulations was at $1.885 trillion a year. This is akin to the federal government taking in an entire second round of income tax, but it's being taken from people by forcing them to comply with the regulatory burdens imposed on them. Of course, it would not be allocated in the same way as income taxes are, but it's still a downright gigantic chunk of change the federal government is siphoning off from the private sector. So to give Trump some credit, he has done well so far in combating this. I really hope he doubles down on this. But at the same time, I am worried about spending and it does not seem like anything is being done about this. The budget that the Senate has come up with is still in line with what a bloated government looks like. And I don't think they'll be cutting the military anytime soon, something that just has to be done. And also, Trump has been very disappointing as far as the Federal Reserve is concerned, picking Jerome Powell as the new Fed chairman, someone who I've talked about before as being as status quo as it gets, with the Fed's interest rates, monetary policy, and the disastrous QE programs, Jerome Powell was in favor of all that stuff. So for now, I can praise Trump for the deregulatory direction he is going in, but there is still a lot left that he needs to do. And frankly, he needs to do it quickly because if things fall apart, which they will with the Federal Reserve doing what they're doing, we all know what will happen. People will erroneously point to deregulation and the quote free market as the culprit, which could send us 10 steps backwards in our fight for free markets. Anyway, thank you and that's all for now.